Hey everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual, still, and so is Petra. So, it finally happened. They're putting on the stress. We were very lucky, the people downstairs, the super, the guy that beat us up and said all this crap and threatened us said, plug in their electricity to yours for a couple months and help them out and blah 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 and I'll pay you for it. We offered to pay them downstairs a couple times, $100, $100, they didn't want to take it. We got court on Friday, um, so they turned off the power today, about 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And uh, here we are with the lanterns and Petra's flipping out, you know, it must be my fault because I'm doing something wrong and and the watches are all in her head complaining about everything we do, calling her names, calling me names, you know, kill yourself, you're a junkie, you stupid trash, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna throw you out, gotta go to housing court, gonna go to the hospital, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna kill you dead, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> It's non-stop. Here's Max. Hey, Max. I know, they did that. They turned off the power. Yes. So we had this, uh, this thing, this lantern thingy, but it doesn't have a long enough wick, first of all. And we don't have any lantern oil, second of all. Flashlights are important. Uh, anyway. So, they did it, you know, they turned off the fucking power. And now, uh, Patriot's freaking out, and I'm freaking out. Although, we got a generator. Because they did this before. They wouldn't let us turn on the power, because they said we're not allowed to live here. And, you know? They really, really, really want to make it harder, harder, harder. They want to make sure... We flip out and can't prepare and get out and da, da da And to be honest with you, you know, we've wasted a lot of time. Um, Petra didn't want to move. She wanted to stay here. She had real high hopes that we would get a lease and be able to continue here, get a roommate and pay the rent and da 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 da, da. But these people are greedy. They want us out and they want to quadruple the rent. Uh, I got proof of that, you know, 800 bucks used to be an apartment. Now, thousand bucks for a room in an apartment. Um, she's flipping out. I can't speak anything but positive things, and I got nothing but negative shit to say because I've been programmed that way, and I don't see this going anywhere good. I really, really had hoped that we could somehow turn this into getting an apartment, but, uh, You know, with our credit scores being negative and my father's refusal to help because he thinks we're going to screw him and the watchers, you know, fucking with every thought we have and every plan we make and then we got the greedy landlords trying to fucking rip our bowels out of our ass and, um, you know, so here we are. She doesn't want me to start the generator because she's afraid of I don't know what. She doesn't want me to... You know, it's all my fault. If I hadn't, whatever it was I was doing, maybe this wouldn't have happened. And, you know, you know, I really don't want to see this love destroyed because, A, I would lose my mind. You know, I really do care for her. I love her. I would give her my life if it would help, honestly. Um, but sometimes I'm just under so much stress and so much shit and these people have made my life a living fucking hell and I don't have anybody helping me out except for Petra and, you know, my father throws me a couple bucks now and then but that's gonna end soon and it's not enough to live on. Uh, agencies don't seem to give a shit, state, federal, local, whatever. And, um, we're going to court and as much as I'd like to say, yeah, they're going to give us a lease and let us stay there and just pay the back rent. No, we're going to get evicted. Uh, it's just a matter of time. I'm smoking a cigarette because I'm so freaking stressed out. You see these the, the wrinkle crinkles on my fucking forehead here? Sorry for the language, but, uh, you know. It's about all I have besides the put you to sleep medicine for the anxiety, and I already took the put you to sleep medicine, so. Um, you know, I don't know, man.
we just have to do what we gotta do and I have to be supportive and not be a complainer and smile my best smile and be supportive as all and da -da -da -da, and do whatever she says so she doesn't freak out and hate me and, you know I mean we've had like four months to get to figure it out you know to get uh, <laughs> get used to the fact that we gotta move and um, anyway you know, I would put on the generator, but she doesn't want me to because she's afraid it's going to cause more problems, and I'm sure it will. You know, that's what they want. They want problems, problems, and more problems. So, you know, tomorrow I'm going to spend the day packing uh, and looking for a place to live, calling all those places. I don't know. And uh, the woman finally called me back. This lady, uh, what's her name? Uh, Teresa Coca finally called me back and um, said, okay, you, could, you know, come Friday. I said, should we talk, spend some time talking? No, we don't need to talk. You know, um, we don't need to talk. Uh, what, I know what we're going to do already. We're going to go and we're going to say we're not ready and we need a little more time to find a place and get their papers and blah, 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 blah. And I don't know if that's the best thing, you know, she doesn't even know, anyway, I don't think it matters the bad shit these people did, it matters, but it doesn't, you know, because, like, they're gonna weigh the fucking shit, they're gonna say, okay, get the fuck out, and, you know, we've been looking, 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 and, you know, this, she hates moving, I hate moving, we're sick, we're tired, we're poor, one income, I, I, you know, I can't even get fucking disability yet because these people keep moving us around. I don't get mail. It's, finally, I got a doctor who's willing to tell me I'm schizophrenic, but I don't want to be schizophrenic because then I won't be able to speak for myself, uh, and that's not a good thing. So, you know, it, it's just... God will look out. Yes, God will care for us. God will help us. But people help us. That's the only way, is if people help. God helps. He does his glorious, wondrous, miraculous magic through people, usually. And people need to help. You know, we got zero credit, no credit, no regular landlord's gonna look at us. Uh, I keep going as Craigslist, I keep getting scams. Oh, we're in Africa and we have the keys to the apartment if you give us a deposit, blah, 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 blah. It's a Nigerian scam. So, <sighs> Craigslist does not really keep me, make me feel too much like we're gonna get a place to live. But we will, somehow, whether it's just a room or whether it's, just, you know, whatever. I, I really hoped we could do something, get an apartment and have some stability for a little while, but, uh, it looks like this, unless it's a miracle. Anyway, let me lug this big-ass thing of gasoline over to where the generator is. Uh, I'm not starting it again like she said, but I'm uh, just getting it ready for anything. I've got this little power thing. I have no idea how long it's going to run for. Maybe we'll get a half an hour or an hour of computer out of it. Maybe less. I don't know, because the battery's not so fantastic. But, uh, that's my story. Thanks for listening. Uh, God bless you.